Right, I just came back from um, picking up this Macintosh SE and uh, of course the uh, thing that caught my interest was this uh, card that does look like an Ethernet card, maybe. So let's open it up and have a look. And of course, remove the battery as well. Always exciting to see if there's any damage to the battery. Let's hope not. Been rather lucky actually um, opening these and uh, not finding battery spill beyond uh, beyond just a little bit, you know, around the, around the battery as well. There are actually no screws there, which I guess is a good sign, possibly. Let's get into this. Of course, without a Mac cracker, it's a pain getting into these, so maybe they just removed them. Right, let's see if I can get it open. Are there really no screws in there? No. It's coming apart. Take the cover off. Yeah, looking good so far. Remove this RF shield. Damage on the back. Right, let's remove this. It's possible to do without getting. Um, without taking these out. The ribbon cables, hard drive, disk drive. Yeah, they're out. And there is, of course, the uh, the big connection to the analog board, but uh, usually one is able to take that one out afterwards. Ah, but of course, there's this card as well. Now, what is this? What is this? This is rather exciting. This is rather exciting. So. Does look like a does look like a uh, some kind of uh, hmm, it says Sonic T patented 1992 um, on the back yeah I don't know but uh, definitely a coaxial and this looks like um, yeah, definitely some kind of Ethernet card, the terminal card. I don't know. Here's a socket. Well, we'll see. All right. Let's see if there's any damage to the board. Can't take this out though. Problem. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, here we go. Yeah, okay. Yeah, it's of course the exciting thing about opening new computer is okay, what card? We have um, still don't know. <laughs> is there battery damage? Right? Can I image the hard drive to see what's on it, or is it toast already? And how much RAM is there in this computer? Of course, the uh, SE30 can take a whole lot of RAM, but usually one doesn't actually find that much in the old, in, in the old computers if they're sort of original because. RAM was extremely expensive in the old day. Right, so usually I need to disassemble this to get to this uh, cable. Next to the, to the motherboard. Oh, I can 
present. And let me have a hand in here. Yes. Yes, I can. Ooh, this is the power supply. This is the cable that goes to the power supply. Analog board. And there it is, it's off. Okay. Wow, look at this. Right, so battery still in there. But I can't see damage, which is awesome. We have the, uh, the ROM and RAM. Let's have a look. Any indication? So half of the eight slots are populated, four slots populated. Any indication of values? Not really, no. Nope. Right, yeah, it looks like in a rather good state. Although, look at this. See this, uh, this, sorry, this capacitor here. There's a corrosion on the leg there. This is going to be swapped out. And uh, there seems to be some kind of bodge here, actually. Um, I haven't seen that before, I don't think. On the back. Yeah, it's pretty pristine. At least at first glance. I've seen these in a much worse state, at least. Right, okay, let's pop this off. I find these surprisingly hard to get off. Right, there it is, off. And off. Yay. Lithium, at least, right? Lithium tends to explode less well, than the NECAD batteries, but still. Good that it's out. We can put this back on. So these excellent uh, little adapters to put uh, clock battery, I mean, to put uh, button batteries in these holders by uh, uh, Silicon Insider. You've probably seen it recently. You get one of those. Most probably. I get this back on again or not. Yeah, there we go. Oh, this is beautiful. Look at that. Right, so some dates. Do we have some chip dates? First week of 89. 44th week of 84. Um, 10th week 89. Uh, 6th week 89. This is a pretty early board. Pretty early board. Great, alright. So I'll be swapping out this capacitor soon. And uh, then I'll be trying it. So um, I saw pictures of this running and it, uh, it it just showed garbled on the screen. So maybe this is it. We'll see. Right, so this is, and I'll take off the RAM, of course, and try that. Excellent. Okay, exciting to see what this really is. Of course. Um, if you do know, please write in the description. Otherwise, I'll be. Googling this, of course, to see what it is. And uh, yeah, I uh, look at the uh, exterior a bit as well while I have it here. So it was quite, it's, it's in a decent state, at least the front, but the back uh, is very yellowed. I don't know, it doesn't come across as super yellow, yeah, but it is, it, I mean, you, you see the uh, the, the, the badge here is actually supposed to be this color all over, and uh, well, it's not. Um, but uh, yeah, oh yeah, this is enough. the original color on, on the bottom, I think, pretty much. See the difference? Big difference. And uh, a bit grimy in the fan. What else? Analog board. Ooh, can we see? Ooh, on the analog board, that does not look good. Look at that. Some gunk there on the on this um, component. Terrible. We'll check that out. 
Okay, so before I put this together, I will take out the hard drive so I can see uh, and image it. And uh, yeah, I'll be posting any updates to this. So uh, do like and uh, subscribe if you want to see more of this this computer and other Apple's Apple computers and Macintosh especially that I'm into and looking at. Right, bye.